Beloved of God, it's Monday, the last Monday in the month of January. You're praying with the God Minute. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 O Lord, open my lips. And And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your your praise. praise. Psalm 71, Taking Refuge In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue and deliver me. Listen to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, my stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and fortress. My God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evil and violent. You are my hope, Lord, my trust, God, from my youth. On you I have depended since birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My hope in you never wavers. I have become a warning to many but you are my strong refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, shall sing your glory every day. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Psalm 31, verse 20. How great is your goodness, Lord! Store up for those who fear you. You display it for those who trust you in the sight of the children of Adam. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. I wonder how many of us have ever done or have heard of the Rorschach test. As far as I know, this test invites participants to express what they see or perceive when they are presented with a series of ink marks. Basically, the idea is to allow participants to state their observations and perceptions. A less scientific method of capturing this similar idea is found in our common expression when we say, we only see what we want to see, or when we say we only hear what we want to hear. Today's reading seems to reflect this similar sentiment. The psalmist says that there is great goodness stored up for us who fear. There is a display of goodness for those who trust. There is great goodness in the sight of the children of Adam. Now, I suspect that many of us will only see and hear what we want to see and hear. The challenge is actually to see and affirm what the psalmist is saying. Do you see the great goodness around you? How magnificent is the display of goodness of the Lord, especially in relationship to you? Where is the abundance of grace in your life? The psalm goes on to remind us that God actually sees us and says, I exalt and rejoice in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. You have taken heed of my adversaries and have not delivered me into the hands of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. Again, we have to ask, what do we hear? Part of what I hear is the Lord saying through the psalm that we have to be strong and take courage. Part of what I see displayed before me is God's abundant love and care for each one of us. (music) 
together with those around us. We pray that our feet may come to stand in the broad place of justice, peace, healing, and reconciliation we have in Christ. I pray with you that we actually see and embrace the goodness that God offers us each day. How great is your goodness, Lord. How marvelous your ways. How rich is your portion. place our prayers together as one and give thanks for God's goodness in our life as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, you are good and loving and forgiving. You give us all that we need to be the best that you have created us to be. May we reflect that goodness throughout this day with your wisdom and strength to guide us. We ask this as we do all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thanks so much for joining us in prayer today. Do take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.